All right, shout out Burger King Japan on 11:29. They are going to be launching this gigantic burger right here. This is the Good Meat Day Whopper. Five flame broiled patties and all of the toppings, the accoutrement that come on a Whopper on the top. A couple slices of cheese as well. But I am teaming up with Critical Each Japan, Paul and JD over in Japan. And we're going to compare the U.S. version of this huge five patty Whopper to what they're going to get over there in Japan. So uh, sit tight and uh, I don't know, cue the intro. What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. You heard in the intro, Good Meat Day, 1129. This is basically something that the Japanese have come up with. They love their numbers and for some reason uh, the word good looks like the number 11 and uh, meat is the same as 29, something like that. I read some articles about this burger. So in honor of Good Meat Day, because it's 1129, they are offering a five patty Whopper. I believe this is gonna go for 1129 yen. You see where they're going with this, 1129. And rumor has it, they're only going to sell 1,129 of these. You see again. 1129. So we're going to get up close and personal with this and check it out. Five patty Whopper. Here we go. No, no, no. I forgot to mention if you are not familiar with Critical Each Japan, Paul doing his food review thing over in Japan. Here's a little montage of Critical Each Japan and what to look for. So after you check out my video, check out his video. He has his friend JD helping him with this. I have no one helping me with this. So check out this montage, Critical Each Japan, and then we're going to get front and center to the five patty Whopper. U.S. version. Check it out. It's a vending, it's a hot foods vending machine restaurant. Yeah. It looks like a laundromat though. It does. And it's called the Automat Diner. Have you ever fell? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Alright, E Niku Nohi. I believe that means Good Meat Day, and this is the Good Meat Day Whopper. Check it out. Now I will say it does have all of the toppings of a Whopper. Got the mayonnaise, the lettuce, the pickles, and the uh, tomatoes on there. I am going to take the tomato off before I take the first bite. They did layer the cheese for me. I'm a fan of that. In the picture, they just had the cheese at the top. So let me get the uh, tomato off of this bad boy. It still has the uh, ketchup on there, the mayonnaise, but uh, finger looking good already. Looking good. Finger licking good already. I'm gonna give you one more look. Look at that, whoa, I was gonna say, look at that lettuce slide right there, slid right off. That is a beast. Check it out. All right, like I said, Paul over in Japan had uh, JD to help him with this. I will have their video linked below and see what uh, this burger looks like over in Japan. But let me give it to you upside down. The more you turn me inside out and round and round. Wow. I don't know how this is going to go down, but it is going to happen now. Wish me luck. Wow, well, check that out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, 
Mm -hmm. So, as you can see, I did not get any of the bread from the top bun, but I don't care. Wow. That is some crazy, crazy flavor going on there. So much meat in this bad boy. I, I probably got two more bites in me. Then I'll probably have to find a way to use all of this meat, maybe throw it in some uh, macaroni and cheese or something like that. There's not much to break down here. I wanted to see how this was going to come together. I mean, this is basically a triple Whopper. Add two patties. Came to $11.65 with tax. Actually, not too bad. Again, let me give it to you upside down. Check out the center right there. But let me go in for another bite. Again, I'm going to try to get more from the top so I can get some of the uh, toppings on there. But wow, so much flame broiled goodness from Burger King. The uh, bottom bun is actually holding up well under all of this uh, meat here. So let me go in for another bite. Yeah. So a couple things. Three patties is probably the max. We have the uh, top bun kind of splitting right there. But again, I'm going to give it to you one more time. Five patties. I got a little more of the topping right there, but wow. This is a huge, huge sandwich. And again, $11. I didn't get a meal. It was funny. The uh, manager at my local Burger King loved putting this together for me. So a shout out my local Burger King for hooking me up. Uh, but uh, when I got this, she's like, would you like the meal with that? And I'm like, no, no, no no meal with that. I'm going to take one more bite. I'm going to rate this. I don't even know how I'm going to rate this. I mean, it tastes good. I mean, they're just cheese layered on there on the inside too. So much going on. But uh, yeah, a couple more bites. That top bun will fall apart. I spoke too soon. It fell apart. There's just so much happening on the top. Here we go. One more bite. Uh, then we'll give it a rating. Oh, oh we got the nose. Mayo in the nose. Oh, all right, final breakdown on this. This was interesting. Again, I really don't think I'm gonna give it a rating. I mean, if you like Burger King, you like the flame broiled flavor of their patties. This is just a Whopper overload and it is what it is. So I mean, if I had to give it a quick rating, I'm not gonna bow my head. I'm not gonna do any of that fanfare. Uh, this is right up there, you know, like an 88, 90. Everything is cooked perfectly. The cheese is melted. It's just really hard to eat. And this is basically just something that Japan is throwing out in honor of the day. And uh, I'm happy they did. So I wanted to check it out. Paul is checking it out again with a little assistance from JD. I wish I had someone to split this with and uh, we would have knocked it out. But uh, yeah, I was happy to do it on my own. So uh, there you go, another video in the books. Please like, please comment, and please subscribe. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media getting the word of my channel out to the masses. Again, in closing, check out Critical H Japan. Uh, tell them the endorsement sent you. You probably know Paul already. He is gaining subs like a madman. And I am so interested to see what Japan comes up with uh, with their version of this burger compared to the U.S. version. This was insane. I was glad I tried it. $11.65 out the door. That's it. All right, bonus footage. We have the top layer right here, kind of like a Whopper patty taco. Let's give it a shot. Meat. Six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother. No!